So we all know that the value of a camera, you know, lenses are lenses that, you know, resolution is, you know, pretty high these days, but the processor is everything, right? You know, whether it's a computer, a camera, um, an iPad, whatever it is, the processor can, can make things faster, it can make things sharper, and it can also make things look more vibrant because these days they, even while the content is playing or even while you're filming, the camera or the TV is looking ahead and figuring out how it can make what's coming up look even better. So that's what we've been able to show you here. We've got the G3 last year's model, but no way is it a bad model, which just become outdated because the G4 has arrived. The G4 is, is actually a larger screen here, which makes this demo even harder, but I know that the Alpha 11, the brand new processor that we've called 11 because it's to correspond with 11 years of the number one OLED brand, of course, um, the Alpha 11 processor is actually showing off the full potential of the panel. So I'll put on um, this video here and uh, is it just some animation? Now I know that you guys have never seen a dinosaur in real life, but it looks even more real <laughs> on the G4. So you can see same image, same mode, G3, G4. The Alpha 11 processor is looking for detail and enhancing and sharpening the image. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's too hard to see the difference there. Everything has more sharpness and crisp detail. Is that upscaling you're talking about there or? Yeah, hundred percent, John. Yep. So the TV, oh, I was on something other than underwater in the dark. Yeah. Okay. So same scene. The TVs pretty much have the same brightness levels as well. It's just the TV is able to use the panel, the processor that we use the panel better by looking at the scene. So here we could break the image into five thousand zones. Here we can now do eight million zone to 8 million pixels and so we can figure out foreground, sharpness and we can do it tastefully without making the image look over processed fake. So you get this crisp detailed image that just goes to show how much a processor can really improve. You, you said 5,000 zones but over these 8 million zones. Ah, 5,000 processing <laughs> zones. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and this one, the G4, it's processing at a pixel level. So every single pixel, the 8 million pixels, is being processed rather than the 5,000 zoning cells. Yeah, so it's looking and it's detected, you know, like an outdoor you know, desert scene. So it's good. I can tweak the color. Now, what's exciting is <coughs> this year, we could also, I'll just show one more scene. This year we can even put lower resolution content on here. This one's not 4K. But you can see as we're moving towards the pyramid, um, how the TV has recognized some areas of the picture and is able to increase that definition. I don't know about you, but I can definitely see it in that pyramid. There, I'll move forward a bit more. Okay. Brighter. brighter, yes, definitely. Brightness is easy to see. What I'm actually talking about is how the definition between the black and then the light part of the image, a lot crisper and defines the TV is looking for those opportunities to increase the... Well, stuff that's supposed to be out of focus still get sharpened, though. Because arguably that should be out of focus. Swiping and sharpening yep. it for your good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, the TV, the, the depth detection, object detection, is looking for where in the image we're supposed to be looking. And obviously it knows we're going towards this pyramid. Now, this TV doesn't know x-men apocalypse it just knows that's in the middle of the screen that's traveling towards it it's getting larger i know that that's probably the key element and it starts to enhance it and improve it you said hdr content or is that is hdr content uh this is hdr content i, I think john one of the interesting things about the 20 to <coughs> four range that i've heard is that obviously we've had dolby vision in lg for a, a, a long time now and we've had filmmaker mode that puts the TV into the settings that the directors want. But we can do that now together, so you can get filmmaker mode in Dolby Vision now, which I think is a great step forward. And, and we've got positive feedback coming from head headquarters from the people in Hollywood saying, you know, we what, that's our intent of a picture. 
combined with that Dolby Vision capability. So that's good news. It sure is. Now this is, um, all this AI enhancing is um, off the back of LG has about 400 engineers all there. Their job is just to teach the processor um, using AI. So they feed it thousands and thousands of files and they sit there and they teach it, calibrate it. And then at a certain point they go, you know the rules processor, go and figure out how to make this picture that's not good look like this great picture. And that's where we get the machine learning element coming in and improving the picture. And that's every update, software update, as we talk about with WebOS, the TV's AI lookup table is gonna improve as well. Okay, so to go with such a slim and amazing TV of the G series that has that flush bracket built in, yes, it is on a pivoting bracket. Scares. It scares me every time. <laughs> cool. It's actually not fragile. It's fine. Um, okay. So the G series here is used to be known as the gallery design. Now it's one wall design. But you know, again, TV speakers pointing down. Amazing picture is only fifty percent of the experience. So you've got to get a sound system. So we've got here the G series soundbar and the G10. Yeah is slim it's only 38 millimeters so less than four centimeters thin and it matches to a 65 width but it looks great with the 77 as well and so you maintain that slim depth top to bottom all the way through and i think you know while we do have sound bars that are larger you know rear speakers this one here is a great way to complement the design and to keep your living room just neat tidy you know, awesome all right all good on the G series. It feels a, a palpable difference between the two when you really look at the yeah the object detection and stuff. It's just incredible. It, yeah, that's it, a great picture. It, that's superb. So this G is just as bright as the C, right? And it's the same EVA panel. It's a bit more the processing that's different. Um, the no, the G is brighter in like average picture, so like full screen white, as well as peak brightness. So C peak brightness will pass a thousand one hundred this year, but the G series is nudging uh, over two thousand. So it's more like two thousand three hundred. Peak six. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Very good. Let's look. Uh, G's have a different panel. Methyl Evo. Ah, uh, okay. So G has a, a special technology that helps give you this extra brightness. Um, it's a heat sink in the back. And so it allows the panel to go harder, but also help release the heat through the back. Yeah. So same panel, but heats does. It's, yeah, it's like what's in. Uh, I'm not sure you Well, we've got something that's only doesn't. You know, then it puts a big mess there with us. Same time. Do you make three cubes? Say at the heat. Oh, uh, sure. Heats are always, always good for high performance products, phones, cars, whatnot. Um, the G series, again, on top of that, has something called an MLA, micro lens array, and that's a, a layer on the screen of, remember, it was like 30, 40 billion little tiny lenses, yeah, billion with a B, and that helps focus the light from going out, you know, in all different scattered directions and focuses it right towards where the viewers are. So we're using like a high brightness screen plus a physical layer, like a lens to focus the light. Mm -hmm.